Today, The Doctors is all new. Squeezing tightness in our chest. We are counting down the six pains you should never ignore. It's going to be really, really bad and be life-threatening. This is a surgical emergency. From legs to stomach to head. That's not a typical migraine. What to look for, what to do. And the single biggest thing that you have to be aware of. Plus, what she thought was just a stomach ache almost killed her. I feel handicapped. There are very serious infections. Then, you touch it every day, and it has more germs than your toilet seat. 283 different types of bacteria. Coming up right now on The Doctors. Thanks for being here. I got a question for you. Have you ever had a nagging pain and wondered if this is something serious? Well, today we're talking about six pains that are pretty common, but I can tell you as an ER doc, they can be very, very serious. You'll find out what they are, how to spot them, and when you should worry. I don't want this show to scare you, but I do want to inform you. So let's go ahead and get started because we've got a lot of important topics to cover. I think most of you will be surprised by what takes the number five spot on the list of pains that may be common, but also can turn very serious if not treated. It's mouth pain, simple mouth pain. A lot of people think mouth pain is no big deal, and usually it is a common dental problem. It can be treated by your dentist or at home, but some may actually have a much more serious problem. Every year, 30,000 Americans are diagnosed with oral cancer. Oral cancer is just as serious as any of the other cancers that you can get. That's something Dr. Gerald Wilk knows firsthand. Two centimeter radius area of my tongue removed, and I had 30 lymph nodes removed from my neck. Oral cancer is increasing in part due to the same virus that causes cervical cancer, the human papillomavirus, or HPV. I thought if it can happen to me, it can happen to anybody. JR is like many people who believe the pain is just gonna go away, but after spending several days in agonizing pain, he finally went to see endodontist Dr. Alex Parzi. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Nice to meet you. you know, not uncommon, a young, healthy guy ignores pain, and so when he came to see you, what was his situation like? Well, JR came to me, he was in excruciating pain for more than three to four days. And when he came to me, he was starting to swell. And we went ahead and started a root canal procedure to actually redo a root canal. And a few days later, he actually became swollen so much so that it was a cellulitis in the lower quadrant. And it extended all the way out to here. These oral abscesses can get really big and distort all the tissues. This is actually three days to four days post-op. Uh, we made an incision uh, right at the, uh, base or the vestibule uh, just to cause this drainage or have you like a conduit for the infection to come out. And uh, this is actually a lot better than he was doing. The day he came in, it was much, much worse. Were you having trouble swallowing? I could barely talk. I could barely swallow. It was really uh, uncomfortable. And um, it started getting worse to a point that I could barely function. But you waited. So I did because You're I tough, thought- You were a tough, tough guy, yeah. right? <laughs> until I actually uh, luckily went to see Dr. Parsi um, as a specialist who actually could take care of the whole problem and, and uh, you know, refix, uh, actually redo what uh, had been done before uh, in a better way. Most of the time, it's just common dental pain. It can be anything from cavities to exposed roots. But if your face is starting to swell and or your tongue is starting to swell, there are very serious infections. What can happen is these grow and was about to happen in your case, they can close off your airway and your ability to breathe. And I took care of a young man, your same age, otherwise healthy. He developed an abscess so large, he went to see his dentist. His dentist put him in the car, drove him to the ER. By the time he got to the ER, his heart rate was almost 200 because this infection had spread to his bloodstream. His blood pressure was basically down to zero and he stopped breathing. And right then and there, we had to pass a tube past this obstruction to save his life. If he hadn't come in that very moment, he would not be alive. And it was mouth pain. 
So let's talk really quickly about common causes of mouth pain. Oral abscess, like we just talked about. Absolutely. If you have hot, cold sensitivity, pain to biting, uh, these are all signs that you should be worried about. Um, if, if, you, if you wake up and you realize that, you know, the tooth does ache, that's a, that's a definite sign, especially if you wake from sleeping and realize that there is pain. Uh, in that case, you either go see a general dentist or see a specialist. Um, but either way, it can become life-threatening if you let it go long enough. Absolutely. And the cellulitis of the neck and face where it gets really red, swollen. Correct. You know, the nice thing about, I hate to say nice thing, but oral cancer is gonna, not going to be something that pops up one day. If you're having a pain that has, has been there and is agonizing, you've got to worry about cancers too, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, one thing that you can do is have a normal checkup with the dentist. We have a better knowledge of seeing these things when they're smaller and trying to uh, you know, intervene and, and do something that is going to be minimal than waiting off for years and years and years, and then all of a sudden you have a large oral cancer and the patient is, uh, you know, at that point, unfortunately, too far gone. Doctors, I think it's so important to remember anybody that uses tobacco products, whether it's smoking or cigars, pipes, chewing tobacco, they are at much higher risk, obviously, for developing oral cancers. And somebody like that, if you have persistent pain that doesn't go away, you have to make sure that you rule out that it's, it's not some type of oral cancer. That's a great point. I want to show you a graphic of when you should worry about oral pain. If you're getting excessive swelling, if, if it's bleeding excessively, if that pain you talked about, if it's spreading to certain areas, it can mean it is extended into your tongue. Correct. And so just pay attention to those particular signs and symptoms. Coming up, we're counting down the six pains that are common, but sometimes you should not ignore them. Find out what number two is on our list and whether you or your child may be at risk. That's next.